Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Southern Kitchen Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo. It says it's seasoned diced grilled chicken breast with fettuccine noodles and Alfredo sauce. It's Delicious Eats by Cardia Brown. And um, I don't watch the Food Network. I've never watched her, but um, it looks pretty good. It looks, looks actually really, really good. 10.5 um, ounces or 297 grams. These are new at Walmart. They were $5.94. So um, a little on the higher side for frozen meals, but yeah, yeah, we'll see what it's like. 410 calories for the bowl. There's your other info. And um, yeah, like I said, I already pretty much read that. So the microwave, we're gonna take it out of the box, of course. Lift the film on the bowl to slightly vent. Uh, place the bowl in the microwave and cook for four minutes. Then we're gonna lift the film, stir, and then microwave for another 30 seconds, I guess just to like finish it off. And then uh, make sure it reaches the total temperature, 165, because you get your thermometers out. And they're gonna remove the bowl and then let it sit for one to two minutes before you, before you actually eat it. Uh, let's see, no pull tabs that I see. These are, it's got a chance getting a paper cut. Okay, it's in one of those like paper balls. It's not plastic, so that's good. It's in, it's in paper. And uh, there's what it looks like. So I'm going to get this in the microwave again for, I'm going to vent it. Pull this little corner up right here. Vent it just a little bit. We're going to get it in the microwave for four minutes, stir it in 30 seconds, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And it's a little watery at the bottom. Um, I guess it's the sauce or just whatever, but it, it looks pretty good. It's very hot, so it's cooked well. Um, just got a little bit of moisture in the bottom, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with a, with a, as long as it's not water. It looks like it's kind of a, the saucy kind of spices and stuff. It smells really, really good. It doesn't smell like your typical um, chicken fettuccine, but we'll see. We'll see. It's definitely some different spices uh, that I can smell. So I'm going to take this over the table and uh, give it a try. And what? While I'm waiting for this light to cool off, I'm going to read the back, that part I just skipped over. Um, it says, pasta with soul. It's uh, chicken grilled to perfection paired with a savory, rich, creamy, low country style Alfredo sauce. So it's not a typical Alfredo sauce. It's a low country style. Um, and sauteed collard greens in a bed, on a bed of fettuccine noodles. Um, or on a bed of fettuccine, I'm saying noodles. Um, it, yeah, it definitely smells different than like a... a when I think of fettuccine alfredo, I'm thinking of uh, the white sauce with just some pepper in there, like like a peppered white sauce with chicken and the fettuccine noodles. That's what I think when I see fettuccine. Uh, this is definitely not fettuccine alfredo um, in the traditional sense. So here we go. I've got uh, greens, I've got chicken, and I've got uh, pasta and, and sauces everywhere, of course. So here we go. Not bad. The um, the collard greens actually just taste like spinach to me. I don't know if that's part. I don't know if that's what it is. Uh, well, there's a slightly different flavor, but yeah, spinach has a little bit of a like a green bitter flavor. That's kind of what I'm getting from those. And they, there's a lots of ingredients here, so I'm not going to be able to read all these. It's too without my reading glasses. Um, I'm trying to look really, really quickly for you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyway, um, it seems like it has a, it, it may not be spinach, but it has a spinach-like flavor to it. And let me also say, in the, you know, I was saying the, um, it seems like I'm really low. Um, I was saying um, that it had a lot of, uh, like, water in the bottom. If you let it sit for the minute or two to, uh, like it says to do in the directions, that thickens up a lot more. So it's not nearly as, um, you don't see as, as much of that water on the bottom. It really did thicken up in that in that couple of minutes. The pasta is cooked really nicely. I like um, I like the pasta, the chicken. I haven't gotten a lot of chicken. I mean, you get a few pieces here and there, but I mean, there are definitely hunks of chicken in there. It's just, I haven't happened to, let me stab a piece right now. Make sure I get a piece. I like the texture of the chicken too. Like um, these are the size chicken chunks you get. I mean, pretty good. I mean, there are some some smaller pieces, but you could take that and cut it in half and even have more. Um, but I really like the texture of the chicken. It's very tender. Tons of flavor in there too. I 
really, real tender and moist piece of chicken. So I like that it's not dry. The pasta is um, is cooked really well. It's um, it's a little firmer than what than what some people might like, but I like my pasta just a, just a touch firm. Which so this is good for me. I think it's perfect. Um, the good thing is it's not mushy. I really don't like mushy pasta at all. Um, the flavors, like I said, the collard greens kind of comes through a little bit of a spinachy kind of like that, just a touch bitter in the greens. But overall, the flavors are really, really nice. The the seasonings are nice. Um, it's spiced without being spicy, so you get like a, a pepper and garlic and um, not salty, but you get that salt feel. Um, yeah, I really, 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 really like the spices in there, and I really like the the textures and flavors of everything in here. It's all really, really good. Um, I'm gonna give this meal four and a half out of five. I really do like it. I would 100% buy this meal again. Um, let me take one more bite. I'm surprised the sauce thickened up as much as it did. I mean, it really did thicken up quite a bit. Um, it's not gloopy. It's not like, like if I pick it up, it's not, it's not like all stuck together in, in, in like gloopy piles. It's not like that thick, but it did thicken up more than I thought it would. So I'm glad, I'm glad it did. So um, the only thing I can really compare this to, well, there's no other meal that I've had that actually has the same flavor and texture. So it's, it's unique, it's different in, in that way. And I've tried, a lot of meals. I mean, like tons of meals. And I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. Um, this meal is unique in that it has the, the different mixture of the cheeses and the, and the chicken and the pasta and the spices and all that stuff. It's different. Um, the only thing I can compare this to other like chef inspired meals is the uh, Martha Stewart ones. And this is like 10 times what Martha Stewart meals were. That's why you don't see Martha Stewart meals in the store hardly anymore. Um, you didn't get much food. You paid a ridiculous amount of money for it. You didn't get much food for it. And the flavors were just kind of weird and odd. This one is $6. So just keep that in mind. But you are getting a lot of really, really good quality food out of here. I think the, the chicken amount's really nice. They gave you plenty of pasta. The seasonings are spot on. The sauce is really good. So yeah, if you, you see this one in the store again, it's this one, chicken alfredo. Um, I would try it out because it's, it's really, really good. So um, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five out of a five out of five because I really do like it that much. Um, I don't know what they could have done to improve it, so I'm gonna give it a five out of five. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.